Welcome to Nigeria's capital with some of the most dangerous roads in the country, according to the Federal Road Safety Commission. The city has some of the best laid roads. It also has some of the worst crashes, most occurring on roads leading into the city, like the one this boy is trying to cross. Thousands go through the peril of crossing daily, contending with drivers blissfully flooring their throttles at top speed. Many have been killed, most in buses. At least four in every ten deaths between 2007 and 2010, totaling more than 5,000 deaths, involved buses. 27,000 injuries were also recorded. And hospital records cite hundreds of people brought in dead after road crashes. Hapless citizens knocked down while crossing highways. This September, Federal Works Ministry launched construction of six pedestrian bridges it said would help cut crashes on Abuja roads by 50%. They are funded by the World Bank, executed by three contractors. Months before their scheduled completion in the next three months, questions have arisen as to whether six bridges around Abuja are sufficient. Both Federal Works Ministry and the FCDA, which administers the FCT, are tiptoeing around the issue. Daily Trust put the questions to both parties. Head of FCDA's Transport Secretariat, Jonathan Ivoke, said the federal government had taken over the pedestrian bridges and it wasn't their prerogative to determine the sufficiency. But the Federal Works Ministry has another version. The ministry's public relations officer, Theodore Ogaziechi, said the ministry was only stepping in after FCDA approached it for sponsorship of only three of the bridges. Other than that, Ogazichi said the works ministry is not in a position to determine the number or spacing of the bridges. Without a consensus between both parties, road users will be stuck with only those for a long time to come, while human and vehicle population continue to explode.